Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm going to show you the process that I go through to get ready for a customer install. As you can see beside me, I have a bunch of U6 LRs, then I have a couple 16 PoE ports and USW24 Pro PoE. We're going to unbox all this equipment, label it, and adopt it into our Hostify cloud controller. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon if you'd like to hire me for network consulting visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you'd like to join our Discord server, I'll put a link in the description below. So I've had these U6 LRs for quite a while, but we've been waiting on the client site. For this particular client, we're not looking after their firewalls. We're waiting for the other contractor to finish the firewall upgrades. The reason I'm getting these all adopted into my controller now is to save time on site. This client is in the medical field and we have to have limited downtime. And here's the layout of how these buildings go. We have building one and then we have building two. They're both four floors high. In between building one and building two, there's fiber optics running to give us network connectivity. And in building two, that's where their MDF is sitting, which has their firewall. On the bottom floor of each of these buildings, we're going to have a USW24 Pro PoE. And then on the third floor of each building, we're going to have the USW16 PoE. These switches only have eight ports that are PoE capable. But with the USW Pro 24 and the 16 ports, we'll have enough to cover the access points. We have 40 access points in total. This is kind of how they're going to be laid out, but not exact. Unfortunately, I can't film at this job site, but I'll let you know how it goes once we're done. Also, we won't be able to get one of the USW Pro 24s adopted into my Hostify controller because it came dead on arrival. So I need to RMA it and then wait for it to come back. One other thing to note, we may have to upgrade the USW16 PoE. The majority of the access points should be connecting back to the USW24 Pro PoE. But depending on how long the cables are, we may have to add additional APs to the third floor switch. The USW24 Pro PoE has a power budget of 400 watts. And the 16 port PoE only has a power budget of 42 watts. If we look at the Unify 6 LR, the maximum power consumption is 16.5 watts, but I haven't ever seen it hit that wattage. If we look at my U6 LR, you could see that it's using 7.20 watts. So we'll just have to find out if we need to upgrade the switches when we get on site. We haven't been able to take out any of the cabling to test how long it is as the network is currently in production. So now we need to get all of this unboxed. Right, now everything's plugged in and up and running we need to get this adopted into my hostify controller currently the switches are just plugged into my network on a different vlan and we could see all the devices listed in my udm pro the first ones that i'm going to want to move over is my usw pro 24 switch so we know the ip is 192.168.1.35 we'll open up a putty session and then we'll type that ip address in so 192.168.1.35 we're going to accept and the username and password is just default. So it's UBNT and then UBNT. Now this next command is the set inform command, which we're going to tell it to push to the IP address of our Hostify controller. The Hostify IP is going to be blurred out for obvious reasons, but this is the same way you would do it if you're trying to push it to a hosted controller or to a different cloud key. We would type in set dash inform http colon slash slash the ip address of our controller colon 8080 slash inform now the switch should be pending adoption in our hostify controller let's go take a look and there you go you could see our switch is pending adoption i'll click on the switch and then we'll press adopt now this is in the correct site that we need it to be placed in i have to do the same thing for the other switches in all of the access points so this will be a bit tedious I'll be back once they're all in our controller. All of the APs are now in my Hostify controller. We have up to 24. 
We still need to add another 16, but I am waiting for a couple more. So I've labeled it from AP1 all the way to 24. And then here's one of the APs and the stickers that I put on it. My finger's just blocking the name of the company out, but you could see that it's AP8. So we'll mark the map where all the APs are sitting. One last thing we do, we upgrade all of the gear before bringing it to site just to save us a bit more time. So I'm going to run through here and then upgrade everything. That's it for this video. We do have some on-site job videos coming up. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. All right, thanks.